Hello there everybody, this is Dino Sasha here and welcome back to another review and today we're going to take a look at the figure that is the Collectate 2016 Lithranax. Now Lithranax, which name means Core King, is a genus of a Tyrannosaur dinosaur lived in the late Cretaceous period about 81 to 0.9 to 81.5 million years ago what is known live in North America. Now, the length is about 5 to 8 meters, 16 to 26 feet long, and and a, and a height, and a weight is about 0 0.5 to 2.5 tons, or 1,150 1, pounds. Now, Lithranax is the members of the Tyrannosaurid that the only predator that can actually resemble its memorize. It is belonging to the Tyrannosaurus family, including its cousin, Tyrannosaurus Rex. It is the apex predator on the top of the food chain across the North America. It feeds on a variety of dinosaurs, including Ceratopsids and even one of its kind. Now, Lithranax is considered to be a different type of the dinosaur that is its closest relatives to seems to be like a T-Rex. Now, Lithranax is the only dinosaur that could be involved for birds, and their carnivores mainly eat meat. Now, let's talk about the sculpt. And I mean, there she is, a Lithranax that I already wanted at. So, there are some upcoming dinosaur world creature spots that I haven't planned yet, but this creature is absolutely gorgeous, and I like how this animal resembles. Now, this is a pretty cool Lithranax figure, but I like how the sculpting on the beast is adding in some land that's going to be a, a usual standing to make a thing that could stands very well. Well, it's really cool in my opinion, but it's not as bad. But anyway, look at the pose. It's like it's a, almost like it's roaring pose, but I still like how the dinosaur behaves. Now, it is a really cool design where the Lithran Axe has a good pose, but I like the details as well because adding in some featherings, and I like how the design was, and I'm pretty sure it is a really good figure. I'm pretty sure that there are new creatures that have still existed with, but with covered in feathers and covered in the, entirely in feathers and has two finger arms. Now, anyway. Without the details out of the way, let's talk about the costume. It is orange in color and feathers all across the, in the body. Under body is just covered in scaly, which is white in color. And I think the grayish on the legs, fingers, the tail, and the black dot here. And a light yellow colors on the feathers. Yeah, including in its red head. And I like how the Eutyrannus looks a bit of a theropod with the exact same color scheme. I mean, it's a Tyrannosaurid, it literally hunts its prey, but I think it's considered to be a theropod with its distinct descendants. Now, I'm really sure that the, the Lithranax is actually a really cool dinosaur. Anyway, the accuracy is good, because it is really good, but not the best, but it's still very good. Now, the only thing that Predator consistently related to Lithranax was actually Tyrannosaurus, but I like how the creature was resembled with it. So, anyway, we're gonna bring it forward, so let's give this a measure. It turns from the length of the tip of the head, always tip of the tail. We're looking at about six and a half inches, and which is only at about, which is about as a... Oh, look like it's 16 and a half centimeters, and the height which is on top of the head, we're looking at about, well, approximately 3.5 inches, and which is only at about 8 centimeters. So for comparison, I'm going to bring up some other dinosaurs, including Theropod and an Ankylosaur. Here's with the Papo 2017 Ceratosaurus. Now, I believe that Ceratosaurus is really good Theropod in my opinion, so this one doesn't have an articulated jaw, but the... Papal Serato, on the other hand, has an articulated jaw, but it's not reviewed, but it's still right. And for the last comparison, here's with the the PNSO 2020 
Galvin the Borella Pelta, the only Ankylosaur that I reviewed. And now, compared to these Theropod, compared to the Tyrannosaurid and the Nautosaurid to the same time, because it was discovered much further than the Lithorum, because it was discovered in 2013. Now, for a reason, I'm gonna link this one in the link in the description box down below. And, for a, com for a final rating, and I'll give this a Lithornax a solid 9.5 out of 10, which is, I like how the figure looks like a bit of a Tyrannosaur, but most people reviewing as a really pretty cool dinosaur, in my opinion. Also, don't forget, it is also the greatest Tyrannosaur that I ever see. Well, at least, all the, the feathering on it, it is just really nice, in my opinion. I'm really sure that it is considered where the Tyrannosaurus is real, but at least I have all T-Rexes, including other relatives of its members, including the Q-Tyrannus and Chanchosaurus, and the well-known T-Rex. Well, it is exactly where the T-Rex is coming from, but it's still a nice figure. But if you want to know about this, let me know in the comments. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications so you'll never miss a video. And leave a comment below. And I hope you see you for another review of the Safari Out Limited 2005 Great Dinos Spinosaurus. Goodbye, everyone, and see you all next time.